hello and good morning. One moment while we set up. It is on. Come on. Sorry. My phone has been giving me touch screen issues for the past whole day. Sorry, you were here. You saw it start yesterday. You heard it start yesterday. My phone does this thing where after a few minutes, the touch screen just stops working correctly. And if I touch the side button on it and reopen it, you know, that closes it and reopen it, it starts working again sometimes. But uh, recently, we also I also had to start sometimes hard resetting it because sometimes that doesn't fix it. Okay. Team Manager. There we go. Hello, good morning, and welcome to Fortnite with Sephiroth TX. This is our short hour and a half stream. Uh, we'll go ahead and get right in on it. I don't know what we'll be chatting about today. If we have anything to chat about, that's outside Fortnite. I do have two things to talk about. First things first, I am an aspiring author, and I have written Bite of the Moon, which you can find in paperback and in... Uh, electronic online in your favorite ebook store so if you have a nook or a kindle or some other device like that and you're hooked up to amazon or barnes and nobles or any other kind of electronic bookstore it should be in there bite of the moon by joshua witchers if you prefer paperback head to amazon or barnes and nobles online store it should also be there i'd appreciate it if you pick it up to help support me the electronic book is not pricey at all at about four-ish dollars, unless they've changed the price lately. I don't think they have. And the uh, the paperback's a little more pricier because they have to pay to make it. So it's, I don't remember, somewhere in the teens and the dollars. But still not expensive compared to like bigger people's stuff. And I have a second thing I'd like to talk about. Hey, Fortnite, it is now chapter four. And we're about to hit season four. Like, we're at the end of season three. You introduced vehicles back in chapter two, fairly early on in the chapter. They are cool. I love vehicles. But do you know what we have? If you go to the locker over here, we have something here called a vehicle wrap. Sorry, it's over here. The vehicle wrap is for using our paid for and earned wraps as coverings for our vehicles because we think that color looks cool. It currently works on boats, ATVs, that freaking golf cart looking thing, and that, and helicopters. And that's it. Do you know what we have in the game right now? We have cyberpunk vehicles. We have trucks, the bears. We have big trucks, the diesels, but none of them get wrapped. The most prevalent vehicle and used vehicle in this game are those four-wheel vehicles that are just regular old vehicles, and they can be wrapped if you wanted to let them be wrapped, but you don't for the past several years. You've wanted nothing to do with allowing our vehicle wraps to work on the actual vehicles we're using. My question is why? Why can vehicle wraps not be used on the actual vehicles? What is your thing against that? Honestly. <laughs> Let's see what the store is real quick. We have Hazy Dream Beats Bundle. I don't know who that is. Oh, this is the new Galactic skin. Darn, I don't have enough money for her. Maybe later. She's cool looking. So this is a new Galactic Bundle. In our, um, in my opinion, the Galactic people are deities, gods. But there is a chance that you can earn your way up there. I think one of the skins is like either Ramirez or something. Yeah, I think it's Ramirez, but as a Galactic skin. Uh, they all have this similar look to them where there's a galaxy or a universe inside of them. Um, glowing eyes is usually blue something around them. This lady seems to have three different colors up here and a mask up there. I'm going to hold on. <laughs> so this is what I'm assuming her normal human look was. Got some chrome-looking bell-bottoms. Oh, she looks familiar. I guess not. Um, 
<laughs> uh, little curve right there dips fairly low below the belly button. Hello. <laughs> um, uh, I'm just distracted by the shininess. Excuse my uh, ADD. Uh, she's got a small, just like band top. I don't even call it a sports bra. I don't know why you want to call that. Some kind of wrap. Uh, 80s looking. Why is that thing on her arm so HD? Look at that knitted sweater arm 80s look wear and tell me that isn't like the most HD thing in the game. That thing looks real. What the hell? And some kind of weird star uh, tattoo, I'm sure, is a uh, Easter egg I don't understand. And some boots that look like mech feet. I should have loved to wear shoes like that. That looks cool. Her second form is pinkish. I'm assuming this would be her powering up for some stuff. Or halfway on her way to deity. It turns her chrome pants pink chrome. Her skin causes that crossfade. Oh, by the way, and her eyes are glowing in this. There's a chance she might just be able to take you form, but whatever. Everything's just kind of pink tinted. Uh, not going to say that's a huge upgrade on that. Because it's just tinted everything pink, so whatever. But this is where the big stuff gets. Galactic. Her chrome pants are now galactic pants. Her mech boots are now black. Her shirt is... Yeah, it's been changed in color. The blue is out. But she's got the blue eyes like a lot of the other galactic skins, if not all of them. And cool looking. And she has this. This is what this looks like in regular color. It's some kind of, like, helmet. It's not a mask. It's plastic or metal. Of course, pink. Oh, that goes well with the pink. And then the galactic version. You know, weird, it has a mouth in the back. It's not terrible. I like it. I do like the galactic skins. If I had the money, I'd buy it, but you know. I don't have the money. This backling equalizer. Uh, she's supposed to be a DJ. Is that the whole point of the mask? Some kind of weird tool. I don't know what that is. Spin Blast Slicer. Cut to the mix. <laughs> Get in the mix. Blast Beats Across the Galaxy. She's a DJ. Well, there's your answer. That's a cool one. And her wrap, which we can't use on vehicles. <laughs> Not gonna let that go. Fortnite. It looks like Rift Warden's back out. Last time we saw Rift Warden, he was helping us create the Rift Gate and and discover what it was for. That it's currently being currently was uh uh was destroyed and brought over the Mega City, possibly from someone's interference. We didn't quite understand whose interference, so. Last season we had the whole uh, kind of gang war and the gangs getting together to prepare against whatever the invasion force was going to be. But uh, he helped start that, kind of. Um, as evil as he looks, he realized something was manipulating us. So, we don't know. Silax is Chapter 2, Season 1. And I, don't know, I just kind of was like, he's supposed to be some kind of weird little this dude. Those guys are back. Um, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Hey, look, it's Sans. Nothing really new down here. We still have the Sakaizen pack if you want to get them and have money for them. I don't have money for any of them, do I? 1,900? No. Uh, this pack, um, Rubik's Locker, I'm going to assume that's a YouTuber or Twitch streamer or some shit. And that's it. Um, our quest today, Vikora is not out, she's got four days. We got Break the Curse, Snapshots, still, deliver the schematic to Stone Satellite Terminal. Okay, let's do that. At the destroyed Rift. Oh, speaking of the Destroyed Rift Gate, first up, we were, oh, actually, first up, we finished Season 
we finished the flood season, so now we are getting into the marble season, but we had, I forgot to look at this. I'm pretty sure we looked at the... Did we look at the... I don't remember looking at all these. Yeah, I honestly don't think we looked at these either. So let's go ahead and look at 2-2 two -two as well. I know we looked at 2-1. So 2-2... Two -two. Yeah, I have no memory of looking at these. So this was 2-2. Two -two. We had the Palmer Lady for uh, could choose those for Shadow, um, blowing up something. She's in her regular shirt. We had that mechanical farmer who, some like the northeastish side of the island, um, his farm is on fire. He seems to be holding a bunch of boogie bombs. Um, yeah, nothing else there. We have Ghost vs. Shadow for two two. We have uh. Mousekulls in his ghost form with Rainbow. Hydish. We have Peely the Agent. Agent Peely uh, got a banana phone. Can view the shoe phone from um, that one old show. Dun, 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 dun. Why can't I remember the name of that show? Get Smart? I, guess, I think it's called Get Smart. And he's got a uh, banana blender shooter and a pack, of, a pack of bananas for his back thing and then a banana watch. Probably shot lasers. <laughs> Our shop banana lasers. We have the mountain fortress, which ended up turning into skull fortress for Shadow. We have Nazgul's in his two alternate forms, depending on whether he works for Shadow or Ghost. We have the lost levels, the Adventure Time lady and her furry companion in a flight mode playing video games. We have uh, Brutus in his thug outfit for both Shadow and Ghost. Don't think there's any Easter eggs or anything in there. Not really. We have Midas in full go mode. We have a Llama as the final member of the storm. <laughs> we have the Shark uh, Island, which was a... Um, it was a shadow or a ghost had it, I don't remember which. It would eventually become a prison run by one or the other. The screen on 2-2 two -two showed, um... Brutus it showed all the ghosts and shadow people. Wow, we didn't do anything since 2-2, two -two, so we had 2-3 to go through as well. Um... You have Midas, the adventure lady, and, her, and Brutus in their shadow form. Which was weird. And you have Deadpool in a bed with TNT, Slurp, Pizza Fries, a Fish Sticks Happy Meal, a toy, uh, a bunch of stuff happening on there. You do pretty underwear. Travis has got stuff. We may have seen some of this. Yeah, Kit. And so this is season 2 3 we just went through. So chapter 2 2 goes to the Shadow. Uh, might have been happening. 2 3 was Flood, remember? At the beginning of Flood, we got. Kit. Kit was Meow's cool son. This is his realistic looking form as he's building his robot. His robot's giving him a thumbs up. I don't know if that means his robot has some kind of self-awareness and ability to move on its own, or if he's just making a kid with a thumbs up. Um, in the background, there may be a picture of him or his dad. Uh, behind him, there's what is likely his mom, Lynx. There's a, <laughs> there's a video and or TV going on. TV or CCTV of a bird over on the right. I don't understand that. We have a cat tree that says too small. All cats think that. Roller skate lady. Roller skate lady. Roller skate lady. Um, the space lady. You know what? I think we may have looked through this. But I don't know. Dummy and the Jonesy robot, the uh, Night Lady, the Red Night Lady, Midas' daughter, and her owl, and what appears to be a fortress. This could be this fortress in the center aisle, the Ghost Shadow Fortress. Still center aisle, but partially destroyed. We have Jonesy exploding something or escaping from an explosion. We have one of the flotillas. 
Flotilla is how they live before the island drained for a while. Five to weeks. We have Beyond Zero, the guy with the zero bloom on his back. Beyond the Waves, so more Flotilla stuff. Uh, got like red eyes appearing back there. I never forget what that is. Rocket launcher down there. A cat, which may or may not be Kit. A pizza truck. The boats from that season. I think that was the first season we had boats. Maybe. No, it wasn't the first season of boats. We had boats that were the season before, right? Duh. We have uh, Aquaman um, riding sharks. The sharks were introduced there. I haven't seen sharks for a while. I don't entirely miss them. We have Ghost Midas. There was some talk that this was not the real Midas that came in. This is either a zero point copy or a darkness copy of him. He has the same glow and shadow power as his storm version in indicating that if there are two Midas's this is the storm suit Midas. That doesn't under, that doesn't make us that doesn't tell us why Gold Midas had the storm suit in his basement. Hello, good morning. Then we had the corrupted suits. We had Blade versus our old vampire lady, and it appears actually that it appears to be from the castle in season one, or the graveyard. That's just real weird picture. Uh, and now we get into season four. Here we go, chapter two, season four. We're finally caught up to where we were. I don't know why I missed the backgrounds the last two seasons. Um, we have Iron Man, he could come in here, it shows, it doesn't show too much other than Iron Man, Tony Stark, the new cars that they had, I think it's Whiplash, or something like the Whiplash introduction, and then the Galactic, or whatever those were supposed to be, they were part of the missions, he had to go to destroy them, I believe, before the big guy got here. Introduction to Storm, who seems to be knocking the battle bus out of the sky. And this is her punk outfit. She came in three outfits. We'll see that later. Introduction to Groot and Rocket. Rocket's not a character, but he's a back in Groot. They seem to be chilling in the fire lights or whatever the glow lights, things that were his fall. He's hanging out with Bush Ranger. Bush Ranger looks so small in that picture. We have Identity Crisis. We have what could be either a pass out or dead Bright Bomber. Though usually on the island when you kill someone in the loop, they be res So I don't know. And she's there's Mystique taking over her form or taking her form and hiding from something. I'm not sure who she's hiding from right there. Got weird eyes and horns. That cloak. We have Thor. And his master. If you didn't know in this version of Thor, he worked for Galactus. Um, he would help evacuate the planets before Galactus ate them. The planets were required to be eaten to keep the natural order of things or the universe intact or something. But he helped minimize damage and death from it. Unlike the main line where Galactus just eat entire worlds, people and all, and just kill millions before the main Marvel team was able to get rid of him or seal him away. I don't remember. It's been a while. We have Doctor Doom, probably the least most famous villain in all... the least most famous famous villain in all of comic books. Like, everybody knows who Doom is and the Fantastic Four, but no one really like you. Yeah, meh. Uh, we have Galactus and his original Herald from the main line, Silver Surfer. Um, we have Meow Skulls looking scared as F hanging off the back end of Silver Surfer stuff. I believe Galactus was one of the largest, like, in-game, at the time, rendered models that you could see in live form. Because when he waved his hand over the island, his hand was as big as the freaking island. He was huge. We have She-Hulk, the predating her TV release by years. <laughs> uh, we have 
a Princess Fish Six, which does not exist, but I think it would eventually become Princess Felicity Fish or whatever. Oh no, that one already came out. That was last season, wasn't it? So I don't know what this Princess Fish Six is supposed to be. I don't believe we have a Princess Fish Six. I could be wrong. And then we had the PJ Angler Fish Two. That guy doesn't exist. Is there is a Princess Fish Six? Feel free to uh, correct me because I don't remember Princess Fish Six. And no, I don't know why she helped because he's in the bus. We have Wolverine. He was a pain in the ass to get. I had to down him with a couple of friends. You had to take him down to get all of his stuff, I believe. He is on the roam. Uh, and that's the end of Season 4. So now we go to Season 4 in the actual things. First thing, we're going to go to random so I don't screw anything up too much. It's already 20 minutes. Our talk today has taken up 20 minutes of our time. That's fine. I don't know why I kept going after I saw I was on 2 1. 2 4. Bum, 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 bum. Our next one is Seeker. Seeker is not my favorite one. I think he was one of the cheap starter packs or something. He's basic skin. He's got uh, black outfit on, some chain mail and stuff underneath, some oriental writing on the side, I don't know if that's Chinese or what, um, oh, I'm not a big fan of the orange stuff all over him, or the mask, and you know what he has, if he has anything, street serpent, could be he belongs to that serpent gang we haven't heard much about lately, same one the bell bottom lady belonged to in chapter one. Um, the is his. Could be a reference to something I don't know. And that's gonna be all he has. I don't think he has one. I know he doesn't have the other two things, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't have any here either. S S I think. I feel like we listened to this song last time we had up in there. So we're going to deliver schematics to Sun Satellite Terminal. I don't know what to really talk about today, so if you're still there, Trumpet VR, or anyone else, feel free to give me a topic. Um, you guys over in YouTube land, I know a handful of y'all watch. I get anywhere between 5 to 30 views a day on average. It's very, very random. <laughs> Uh, if y'all are happen to see this and y'all want to give me something to talk about in the next stream, just post it below. Post it as talk about and then this. I'll like and talk about anything you want. It doesn't matter. I mean, uh, it could be political, it could be news, it could be goings on, it could be video games, it can be um, my thoughts on stuff. Um, the medium will be coming back, by the way. I'm not going to just leave the game unfinished. But I have to wait till I have time for it. It won't be for a minute. My t It'll be during like a day off or before a day off. And I, it'll have to be a day I don't have to get up too early in the morning the next day. Or I have my son in the weekend, so probably will not be the weekend. School hours will start going into effect here. Which means you probably won't be seeing me too much during the weekend when I have my son between Thursday and Sunday, I won't be on very much. My times will be Monday through Thursday morning. But Thursday evening to Sunday evening, I don't know. And I might get on in a Monday morning if I'm off, but it'll be later than normal. Don't know anything about Sheep Serpents. Uh, Storyline, he doesn't have one as far as I know, just like a, kind of a Chinese look to all his outfit and his weapons. Street Searcher makes him sound like he's a street game. Oh, hello. So we're going over here, but we have a laser coming out of the main thing. Ah, what the favor. So let me get this straight. We have. Last season, no, two seasons ago, we have this guy over here, the IO guy's snapshot, like early snapshot. And he's like, we're going to create 
a rift gate so we can discover what's beyond it. And it goes bad. It's tuned somewhere, it's retuned by Amy and us, that things go bad. I'm assuming whoever was supposed to come over didn't come over. And we teleport an entire cyberpunk city and Japanese area in. I don't know if the Japanese area came from that or was just floated in like the rest of the island. Over schematics to Sloan Terminal. Sloan, you have to turn them all. Energy debris from the rift gate collapse is complicated by long range cosmic scans. But I am picking up something. A signal I've seen before. Uh oh. Very old signal. One I think I recognize. Old and one she thinks she recognizes. So Someone from IO or Okay, further orders from Sloan. I have to all have to reach back to Sloan. Be easier just to land on her, I think. But we'll go um this way. I'm playing too much Zelda, I wanna go climb up that waterfall. I'm currently in the middle on Zelda of collecting all the clothes I can find without too much cheating. I'm trying to do everything without looking up everything, but sometimes I'll look up stuff if it's just too frustrating. For example, I'll be looking for a cave system that the... Sh I'm trying to finish all the shrines because finishing all the shrines apparently unlocks a special costume of some kind. I think it's the hero, ancient hero costume, which I've seen floating around the internet. And, um, the special costume, I don't know what it does, but it's just say furry friendly. <laughs> but, um, open. sometimes the gum shrines will be hidden really well, or even locked behind something. I had one over in the desert area, the root area. I figured out I had to finish... I was looking forever, so I had to look it up, and I figured it out, thanks to looking it up, I have to finish the stupid, uh, get all the costumes, uh, quest line for the Yiga clan. And I haven't even really started that. I did the first one, mostly because Robbie sent me up there, and I got the costume from in there. But other than that, I really have not them too much. Why is she all the way the far over there? Bubble. What was my daily quest I completed? I should get an upgrade from that. Come on, dudes. Should be getting level up. There we go. I know. This is my friend. See how he dinos. Holy cow, I forgot they did that.
51 meters. Hopefully, no one's up here. Good work. You're the 10th higher gun I've sent down there, and the first to come back. The Rift Warden never figured out how to find the kinetic horror himself. Rift Warden. But using his research, I can ping the island for traces of its energy. Sure. If you can track down enough to find kinetic horror, we can supercharge the apparatus. So, yeah, like I was saying, he did that, he messed up, and she's trying to redo it with an older version. So the Rift Warden did it with his version, which was self made. And now she's doing it with a older version from whoever lived on this island before. I'm assuming the kinetic energy is involved something to do with the cube people's race. Hello. I see you. Oh, I see I can clap now. You stay over there. Eat my duty booty. Freaking flies. Okay. Um Wes. Big refined coal energy from there. It's inside. Where the hell is that? That is going to be that. Okay, drop. I don't think it's hurt. Oh, good. 200 meters that way. I can make that before the storm goes up again. My poor raptor. I had him and then I lost him. But he was good bait. Might be following whoever that is on accident. Oh, am I down here? Yeah, I'm here then. Ew, it's in the mud. Four. 
One more, they seem to just be appearing. I don't know. Bye. Found the machine the amount of raw potential left abandoned, eh? Okay, so our next one's gonna be way up there, so we'll see. What the heck did I explode? Where did that go? Damn. My aim sucks. <laughs> oh well, we get to go to our next person. We're on 30 minutes. Okay, we got our left. Shady Silts. What is this I doing? Why does it keep resetting? What does I got? Do one of these. This and this. Does that mean we actually moved up in that pass? We did. We moved up in that dumb pass. I have a friend who's been playing this as he's finished all the Objectives, the first objectives, and only got to the second version. So, you know. I could buy the rewards, I guess, if it gets too late, and I have enough V-Bucks. So we get our final dude. And the new fighter. The new fighter looks like you had to do something special for him, though. Huh. Anyway. Do that for our next walker. We have Samurai Scrapper. Samurai Scrapper was purchasable. I'm pretty sure he's on one of those overly expensive ones where it's like, oh, you buy this and you get a uh, thing for. You can also buy the other game, which I already have, so they need to reduce those prices for the people who don't want or already have the other game. In fact, the other game's reasons for existing for a lot of people no longer exist since you no longer make V Bucks play in the other game, apparently. Anyway, Samurai Scapper's pretty good. Um, he's, uh, you don't really see his face ever. I don't, I think this is the only time you see this character, so he's very unique on the face, little structure. Um, he has a helmet version, which I prefer. Just has the whole Samurai helmet. His, you can see his Scrapper stuff. He's called Samurai Scapper because his clothes are all made up of car pieces. You got tire treasures, you got, uh, license plates, you got a baseball helmet. Um, can on top of something. <laughs> Metal antlers. Um, wrong way signs. A stop sign. It's all been sliced up. Uh, the reason he's like this is because he's from Save the World, so you know the world's kind of in an apocalyptic situation over there. Excuse me, I take a drink. 
Um, he honestly doesn't have much here. He does have backling. That's all he's going to have. He has a tool weapon in Save the World, which they did not bring over here as a tool. It's a weapon to Save the World, but not an actual, like, pick his axe tool, which is unfortunate because it's that ruler sword you see in his picture, and it's kind of cool. Um, what is this? He has a thing have a name called... It does not have a name. Ah. Huh. I know he has backling. Not entirely sure where they put it. It's fairly obvious backling. Hmm. Season two four is fairly large, but I am not seeing his backling. Oh, there it is, the bottom. This is a backling, just got like a samurai flag in it, and that's all he's gonna have in here, honestly. Have anything else? I think I've done more considering how pricey he is, especially for the people who already have them. And they did do more in later ones. <laughs> Excuse me, holy cow. Sorry. I have the explosion thing on my <laughs> feet. Every time I do that. Okay, well, go ahead and head in. Um, so he's from Save the World, so likely he was rifted in by the same forces that rifted in Ramirez and on all the other Save the World people. I haven't been watching much on TV lately. I've been watching. I've been going through all the Supernaturals. I never got to see all of it. But other than that, I haven't been watching anything new, new anime or anything. Like I want to get into anime, but I don't want it to be anime. I'm not interested in. Just what it in. I want to try Jujutsu Kaisen, but I don't know if Jujutsu Kaisen exists in a streaming app I currently have, and I cannot pay for more streaming apps. I do not have Crunchyroll. If you're about to say Crunchyroll. I have Netflix, and I have Disney Plus, and I have Prime, and I think that's it. Okay, so we'll be going up to Shady Stilts. We gotta go up the floor there. So it looks like the ore is mostly or all inside the actual forest area. It looks like we've already activated the beam, and it's pointed out that way. I was watching Postbox Pat, and they were presuming that there's a chance this could be bringing in the Ice Moon. The Ice Moon is where the Ice King lives, um, where the prisoner was once imprisoned along with the monster. It's sort of like an SCP facility made by the Ice King and the prisoner, or okay, the Fire King, before the Fire King betrayed him. Neener, neener. Back here, right? Somewhere. Three, four, one more somewhere. Right here. Five. 
And how long has all this refined kinetic ore just been lying around? They need to let that sit up a little longer. Bumble ruins. Go to the room. Or this way. over here. I guess not. Oh well. Be quicker if I cut to this way than stay in the bottom. This is still a very pretty map, by the way, all the reds and stuff. Look at the way the sun shines through the tree leaves. I don't think shot at. Same dude. That's that's dead. Yeah, just keep going. Three hundred meters. Get some of the Zonai statues stuff. Hop on this. Ooh, someone got the power behind. There's a bad guy in there. Down here? I can't imagine the civilization with so much refined kinetic ore available. Because remember, this is not their first time with the refined kinetic ore. They made a gate out of it, the IO. I don't know how well she's familiar with that. Get further orders from slow. Assuming she's still alive. You know what? I think I still need to do sharp tooth damage. I'm not sure. I'll do sharp tooth and pistol combo. I'll just blast someone and then wreck them with the pistol.
So, anybody here with you? Yeah. This should be enough for providing kinetic ore to supercharge the apparatus. The, the apparatus is not a telescope, it's a stellar projector holding ancient knowledge. I've been arguing with the explorers that they see me near the device, they'll overreact. Charge up the apparatus to a refined kinetic ore and then return here to power it up. Just left us alone, but he had to piss off soon. <laughs> Interesting. Anyway, I need to go top of this building over here. Usually I try to do something on that that would like match the details for the character. Um, I mean sure why can't he have a switch shotgun reload? Things. That's it, just put that right there. Let's see what he says. Hey, I have one of my videos for this, so I don't really got anything I can do. Oh, I can use that though. This one's still inside? Yes, yeah, one's still inside. Back to Slum then. Yeah, you can give me a quick way down. Holy cow. Let's not land in the trees. I'm gonna wait I'm gonna hit you on accident. I was gonna shoot you, I saw you were doing your mission, but you started shooting at me, you wouldn't sit. So, you know. On you. I lost my powers, though. So. Oh, I have Dennis Horn's soul, though. So, um, did I hit you by any chance? Are you okay? You're okay. okay. And you're not angry at me. <laughs> I will execute an operation. There's a time I wouldn't recruit you for IO, but never mind that. I have a plan that might give us a path to escape our enemies for good. It's risky, but it's worth it. If this pays off, you might actually be the hero that those mega city syndicates keep calling you. Don't say this often, but thank you. I don't trust her. After she left us to die on that freaking spaceship, I trust her not at all. But we'll see what she has planned. I don't know if we're going to have an event or not.
first did I get? Oh, there it is. Let's start with that. Your rifle won't help us. Shoot me, keep shooting me. Come on. Give me that. There we go. That way we get another skin before we walk. How did. Oh, she can teleport. I completely forgot about her power. <laughs> Teleporting. Used to be able to, like, turn into different people, right? I don't know if she can still, like, separate into three different forms. Can't access the Regan news for some reason again. Hello, what's this? Uh, there we go. Okay, so we have weeklies and we have this Psychizen. Hunting cursed llamas will have to do as we find them. We're done with the power things at least, but we're going to do assault rifles still. Um, and then we'll get around to weeklies, I guess, eventually. Hunt raptors with sharp two shotgun. I forgot that was our mention. Anyway, uh, what is our battle pass on quest rewards? Our next one is this one. We need to finish one more to get him. Uh, it's just a tiger version of his outfit. It's not like now school, so whatever. And it's the last one, actually. This is the final week request thing that matters. Just one more. So, what was our quest? Weeks? Or just an easy one? Wasp. Hot flowers. Alt key cards. Spin bars. <laughs> Why not? Or saw a puzzle at a ruin. That was annoying. We will hit out, and our first thing is to spin bar so we can get in the assholes. Uh, first up, let's get the locker. It looks like we haven't used a thing here. We get. It is Innovator Sloan, Dr. Sloan. Um, she got something in her hand, some kind of tech. It looks like a shell, but it's projecting. It's the projection of the, um, Machine we've seen. I don't know if powering it up did anything. We'll go look at it. It'll probably be something that we see during an event or CG. I have this bad feeling that they're going to start doing events once a chapter, since they're having shorter chapters, which I guess would be okay if the events are spectacular and well made. It has to be better than the last event. The last event we had was. Uh, the beginning of this chapter and the end of the last chapter. So, you know, if they do that, every chapter is fine. You know, in the chapter with a bang, new map, whatever. Even though I kind of like this map a lot, would not mind this map sticking around some more um, for a while longer. That said, it has to be better than the last event. The last event was okay. It felt like somebody made it in creative mode, honestly. It had some good visuals in it. But I think the biggest problem was there's no... The, the action was all cinematic. You could have stuck us in the action against the Herald. And then when it came to the fact that we were losing, you could have had us escape into some kind of escape pod before detonation. You could have made more integral storyline on why the island detonated. There's just so much that made the last one seem half-assed. So, like they didn't have a writer working for them. Or anybody with any kind of storyboard knowledge, and it, which is kind of meh. Out of all of the things, I'm not going to say it's terrible, but it's there with the rocket launch to where they've done so much better since then. The rocket launch isn't bad. That was cool, you know, but it doesn't hold a candle to like the end or in some of the 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 Free Galactus we're talking about this season uh, thing or whatever. No, they've done better. Uh, so 
they need to do better than CG connected to what appears to be creative content. <laughs> but, uh, if you're going to have a bunch of characters interacting with us in the middle of the thing like that, then give them all voices. Every single one needs voice lines. Spoken voice lines. Not readable stuff like we see on the map normally. You know, we had freaking Tony Stark and we had Thor. Fully voice acted. There's no reason you can't just get some usual voice actors. Y'all usually get to voice act whatever we're doing. Go ahead and have in-game voice acting. That'd be cool, but have voice acting. Don't have asset guys. You make a lot of money off of this. That is my rant to Fortnite. Two rants to Fortnite today. Um, but da -bum. next thing. Oh, well, shit, why did that, did that happen? Okay, so our next one is, uh, the Dead Space wannabe, long before we get the virtual Dead Space skin in. This is Powerhouse, he is obviously a remake of the Dead Space armor, but in Fortnite's style of stealing things and remaking it to look cool. It appears to have some kind of, like, slurp or energy that looks like slurp around him. Uh, possibly keep him alive. It's a reference to. Oh god, I forgot his name. The Dead Space main character's back thing that uh, indicates his health. Oh good, it doesn't have a name. I'm going to have to look and hope it exists up here. Okay. This is it, right? Yeah, that's it. I believe this is it. Uh, this is his back thing. It's just some. Is this Binder Tech? Hello. Oh, that is a Bender deck on it. Power pack. Uh, anyway, it says supercharged and crackling with electric might. What does his thing say? It does say Bender deck. Elite Bender deck electro trooper. That's interesting. So we, I don't have a lot of information on Bender deck. It is where V-Bucks come from, and they were a major player in Save the World. They created a lot of that technology, they created a lot of the bots, and their people just disappeared. Possibly killed by the Save the World apocalypse but they had something to do with a lot of the more tech advanced stuff so this is some trooper of theirs that made it into the loop let's see the binder tech symbol it should be a big old v on it let's see v bucks <laughs> i don't think he has anything honestly two four two four two four two four um, I'll do a quick glance through when I'm almost positive he is without a thing. And if he's not, you can correct me, but I don't think he is. Perfect point, that is a PS2 thing. Yeah, we're out. I don't think he has anything else. That's just, he was just a small purchase. I don't know where he came from. Um, spin bars. We're gonna go in, we're gonna go out, we're gonna find the first thing we can spin bars on, and we're just gonna spin as much as we can on it. I don't even know how many bars I have. Everybody's life post 2020. <laughs> it just has extra umbrellas to pull out. I didn't know it looked struck like that. I like that orc cordigan in the background. And it gives it a French feel to it. Oh, I was kind of listening to that song. I didn't realize he, what's her name down there at the bottom in the float, and then we have Brutus Summer, and we have uh, Bright Bomber Summer version. Let's set everything on fire. 
Look at that soft glow from the scene on us. The lighting of this game just really impresses me. That actually sounded cool, but um, yeah, I don't see anything new coming out of that. So we're going to hit over here, actually. Let's hit our gas station we haven't been to in a while. Thinking the bus driver. I'm at 132. Everybody else is like 33, 69. I think you can... Oh, I guess sometimes you can hide the levels. I was like, I think you might be able to tell the bots by the fact they don't have levels on them. I forgot you can actually hide the levels. This, I believe, might be a PlayStation fall, but don't quote me on that. And this is a Ghost and Shadow Glider. I'm in Shadow Mode, by the way. I believe this belongs to Brutus, but I could really go with any of the characters. It's full of the island's colorful money. The island's money looks like Llama Monopoly money, it looks like something counterfeit. I guess if you're constantly looping and you don't have time, you just make the money out of colorful paper from the copy store. A little further down in a minute, you're going to lose a chance to go do that anymore. You should be landing right on it. We're here to talk to the Dimming Machine, that's all. Um, not stop me from getting this thing right here, though. And we got his. That's in on the weekly quest importance because now we've got the last one. And will. Okay, well, let's see. What we got the quests now. Weekly quests we're done with. We can get XP from it, but we really don't need XP and pull up. Reboot Rally, I'm probably not going to get because I can't find anybody to do it. They don't look. Those would be good for Pride Month. It's rainbowy. Oh. I'll see if my son will come in one day with me. If I earn 50 points, I can get the thing. 100 points to get the wrap, which is pretty cool. This is two weeks to go. I don't know, maybe he'll come and do stuff with me. Okay, so daily not available. Oh, discover quests. Okay. Assault rifle damage. That is our main thing. This is not an assault rifle. We need a different gun. SMG. There. Okay, let's go see what's going on over here and get some damage going. I'm at 700 of 1,000, so not terribly off with that one. That sounds like something he would have built in. be way up this way, but I'm not entirely sure. That's the guy I was shooting, or no? 
I think that may have been the guy I was shooting. Yeah, that was him. We're at 749. Um, that has gone up, right? <laughs> Please tell me that's gone up. This is an assault rifle. It says assault rifle. Um, okay. Oh, we went deep. We're near Philly. We are near Philly. Hello, Philly. Friends of the Mossy Statue of Hills. Someone's already opened it. How much I want that? Ooh. Um, I have to actually hurt people with this in this dumb mug, you know. What the hell? That was cheap. I don't know what the noises I just heard, but I swear. All the wisps. I don't think I did. I can't hide. Got a weekly thing with the wisps. It is, isn't it? I don't see it anymore. Maybe I got it. Hmm. We still doing assault rifles? Still doing assault rifles. Okay, we have about 10 minutes, so we'll go ahead and drop one more, guys. I'll do one more drop for y'all guys since I spent 20 minutes. Um, 
talking at the beginning. Oh, we got some stuff. We got a new spray. Uh, this guy. That's cool. Whatever that is. <laughs> that and that. I believe that belongs to that guy. You know what? We'll call it a day. I have to get on. I have to do some more publisher stuff and do some more uh, job hunting. We already had those solved. So let's, let's go ahead and finish this out. First things first, let's go ahead and load up our anime dude with all his stuff. That'll be unlocked. Did we not get the... There he is. It's like I know we got some kind of anime dude. That's the assholes. Um, back then should be his though. It says, A bear-like curse used for Yuji's training. Tsukamoto bear. Super. That's a long ass name. He has a reaction, I'm assuming. Uh, and then I believe, I believe we got this Jususu Kaisen gun, which is actually not too shabby looking. Does it look like on everything? Cool. It'd be cool in a car or truck. <laughs> I like the most special one, but I like it. Black and red's kind of nice. Um, quick save on him. I think that's all we really got. We got no wait. We had a spray. There we go. Just two guys in spray. Leave your mark. It's the only one we got for them so far. Looks like it. I don't want to replace with them. And I didn't set up this thing yet. We'll get to that later. And then with that, we have a set for Meow Schools. Where is he at? Meow Schools? I know he set you up already. How am I not seeing you? There you go. So he has a third shirt called the Formidable Meow Schools. We'll call it Tiger Team Meow Schools. Please don't. Um, it's a new one of him. What does... Real quick. He has the fruit. He has the cup. We can put the banana on the back of him. Banana. I think it's cute. Um, we'll go ahead and just do regular strides for him. We'll just call it form. Firm. Wait, that sounds that's weird, but we're gonna keep it. <laughs> Cause he is firm. <laughs> and now everybody on YouTube has run away. Now you made him do this. Now he's sad cat. There's some sad muscles. Um so that's it on that. On battle pass. Bonus rewards, we have 40, so we can go ahead and grab one person, because <laughs> they age call 25. Honestly, I kind of want this suit, because his, his masked version, we'll only do one of each color on the lockers, so we'll be running his masked version. Well, first thing, we need to find him, so I don't have to reload everything on him. He's up here, right here. The original because it'll be red. Everything will be red on that I Guess not the original. Let's hit the second. Leave everything will be red on them. First things first. Now, I'm going to say this as I've said this before. They give us these cool extra colors, and they do fit on their outfits, but they don't work with all their tools and extra stuff, and they should. They should give extra colors to all their pieces. Wouldn't be that much harder. I'm just gonna keep saying that. It's one of those things Fortnite refuses to do, which seems like a logical thing to do. Wrap in the cards, you get all these extra colors to all the pieces. This would be cool on his glider. But, you know, whatever. Extra work? Who knows? But he's cool looking. He's got Chloe Red Fingers now, like his original does. Um, his original Chloe Red Fingers? Yeah, he does, unless you change him to the other color. Chloe Red Fingers. Like, those fingers, 
one group. And this is actually probably his coolest form, honestly. This is out of all his form, all of his colors. This is the coolest one. Uh, red back lane, red sword, red glider, that's always red. And we'll save it as red relic or so RR. And I believe that's all we can buy because we're now down 15 yet. So we are full up on Battle Pass. We finished the quest reward pilots of it. Um, these guys are gotten. So all we have left is bonus rewards, and we have two pages to go on that. Unfortunately, they're extremely. Well, we have this and then the Jujutsu Kaisen one. This one will be slow moving because we need to get 10 more to do anything, and then after that we'll be out when we get 25 more. So those will be slow moving. I don't know if I'll get all the colors. I kind of just want the red. The red ones I kind of want. Actually, no, you know what? I lie. I want the these ones. These ones will be good for next Pride, if we're still running Fortnite at that point. <laughs> anyway, on Shizu Kaizen, next time we come in, which will likely be Maybe be tomorrow. Um, it depends on what's going on with my son. So we may come in tomorrow. If you don't see me tomorrow, then don't expect me till maybe. Um, it, so school is weird. School is weird this week. Uh, so he doesn't go into like halfway through the week. Um, on my schedule, I have Thursday and Friday off, but I'll probably be with him. Oh, you know what? I have Thursday and Friday off. He'll have me at school Thursday, so I'll. If you don't see me tomorrow, then expect my next stream to be on Thursday. After that, don't expect me to come back until possibly Monday the next week. Let me see if I can see my schedule that far yet. And then after I see this, we're going to be out. Um, no, I can't see my schedule that far yet. Whatever. Whatever, boss man. <laughs> so, I may see you all tomorrow. If not, then I will check it all on Thursday. We'll have a break until Thursday, most likely. Um, excuse me. Uh, anyway, peace and out. Um, we all have a good day. And if I don't see you all Thursday, you'll have a good couple of days. 